What's going on today everybody, it's Buddy here, and in this video you guys are going to learn how to take your old rusted out brake rotors and turn them into these beautiful brand new looking brake rotors. Now we're also going to be painting a set of brand new brake rotors just for you guys who have a brand new set and you want to learn how to paint them. I always recommend that you paint your brake rotors while they're new because it's a lot faster, it's a lot easier, and it's going to help keep rust at bay. So we're going to take these from this and we're going to turn them into this. Now pitting your brake rotors isn't just an aesthetic thing that you can do for looks, it actually serves a purpose as well. So you can see right here on the front of the brake rotor, this is where the brake pad actually squeezes the rotor to stop the car. Now right here on the edges is this big buildup of rust forming. And what's going to happen is it's going to slowly work its way into the middle and that's when you get those noisy sounding brakes as well as decreased braking performance. Now it's obviously better to do this when the brake rotors are new because rust is going to be forming all up in the veins of the rotor. But this method is definitely going to help keep rust at bay. So enough small talk, let's go pull the old brake rotors off the vehicle so we can get to painting. So obviously we've got to get the front of the car off the ground to get the wheel off the ground to get to our brake rotor, but we got to do two things before we get the car actually off the ground. So the first thing we're going to do is engage the emergency brake, and then we're going to go ahead and apply some wheel chocks to the back wheels. If you don't have wheel chocks, you can actually use a 2x4 and just wedge it in there. Now with the wheel chocks in place and our emergency brake engaged, we can go ahead and we can start jacking up the front of the vehicle. Now we can go ahead and get our jack stands in place and then slowly lower our vehicle on the jack stands. And let's give our vehicle a firm shake to make sure it's nice and secure on the jack stands. So now we are ready to take our wheel off. So we're going to start by removing our lug nuts and then we're going to remove our tire. So now that we got our tire off, the first thing we're going to do is start by removing our brake caliper. We're going to put the key in the ignition to unlock the steering wheel and then we're going to turn it so the brake caliper faces towards us. And the reason we turn the brake caliper towards us because it's going to give us a lot easier access to get to these bolts that hold the brake caliper to the knuckle. So we're going to start by removing our top bolt. And then we're going to go ahead and take off our bottom brake caliper bolt. Now that our brake caliper bolts are out, we can start by wiggling the brake caliper off the rotor. Now what I like to do is take a bungee cord and attach it to the brake caliper and then tie it up to the strut tower and then tie it back down to the brake caliper to make sure that we're not putting any strain on the brake line. Now at this point we can go ahead and remove our brake rotor. So let's go over everything we're going to need to paint our rotors. So the only things we're going to need to restore our rotors is the first thing, we're going to need a drill, and then we're going to be using a wire brush. Now this wire brush is only a couple bucks on Amazon. I will put a link in the description for one. It's going to make it a whole lot easier. You can use sandpaper, but I highly recommend this. Now also what we're going to be using is some primer here. Now this says stop rust on it because it has rust inhibitor chemicals, so you definitely want something like that to keep the rust at bay. We're also going to be using some brake parts cleaner, and then we're going to be using some high temperature paint. So I have two different colors here. You can see right here it says 1300 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's definitely way overkill, but that's all I got here for the gray. And we're also going to be using this red here for my new brake rotors. You can see it says up to 550 degrees. That's plenty hot enough, especially if you don't plan on doing any high performance street racing. And again, there's going to be a link for all this stuff in the description below on Amazon. So you guys can grab all this stuff at once, get it shipped to your house and get it straight to work. And I'm definitely going to recommend you wear a mask as well. Because when we grind off all this rust, it's going to leave a lot of nasty dust. You definitely don't want to breathe that in. So we're going to start by grinding down the rust on the wheel and the rotor mating surface. We're going to get in all the grooves on the side wall of the rotor hat. And a little trick to get the edge of the rotors, if you stick it between two tires, it stays just stable enough that you can get the edges. And we're going to do the same thing to the back of the rotor as we did to the front. And you definitely want to take your time on taking as much rust as you can off the rotor because this is the most important step. And the next step is to take our brake parts cleaner and douse down the rotor. And then we're going to wipe it down thoroughly. We're going to repeat the process of spraying it down and then wiping it down thoroughly until the rag looks fairly clean after you wipe it off. Now we're going to work on the veins of the rotor. So obviously we can't get any sandpaper or wire brush in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a towel down on the ground and then we're going to take our brake clean and we're going to spray it down in there and let it soak for about five minutes. We're going to give it one final thorough wipe down and then it's time to paint. So now that our rotor is nice and clean, we're going to start here with our primer. You want to make sure you have shooken this for about two minutes before you start. Now, I like to spray my rotor standing up. That way you can get both sides, you can spray it once, and you can be done. Now really the only method to spray it is to kind of do light coats. You don't want to spray nice thick coats on there because it's going to run. It runs are essentially just drips, and you don't want those. So light coats are the best way to do it. 
Now, don't be afraid to spray down the entire rotor like I'm doing here. You won't hurt anything spraying the friction surface where the pads actually meet the rotors. What'll happen is the first time you apply the brakes, the paint will peel right off in that area. So go ahead and just spray the whole thing down and get a nice even coat. And again, we're going to repeat the process as we did on the front, on the back, and be sure to do nice light coats. So now that we're done with our first coat, we're going to give it about five minutes of dry time, and then we're going to hit it with our second coat. All right, so it's been about five minutes. We're going to do our second coat of our primer. We're going to do the exact same thing, just a nice light layer. We don't need to go crazy with this stuff. A nice light layer will do the trick. And we're going to be doing the exact same thing, pretty much a nice light coat here on this second coat. And also spraying the veins like you see I'm doing here. You want to get down in the rotor to make sure the rust doesn't build back up because again, this primer does have that rust inhibitor chemical. And then do the same thing here on the back, being sure to get all little cracks and crevices. So we're going to give this about 10 minutes of dry time until we move on to the next step. All right, so we're all done with our primer. It's time to move on to our high temperature paint. We do the same thing. We want to shake this up for about two minutes before we start spraying. And we're going to do nice, thin, even coats. Now, if you've never spray painted for what you really want to focus on is one, like I said, three or four times already. Be sure to do nice, light coats. And two, you want to keep the can moving when you have your finger on the trigger. You don't want to keep the can stationary while you're spraying because that's how you get blotches and you get runs. And it'll drip down, it'll look ugly, and it'll look nasty. So always be sure to keep the can moving the whole time you are spraying, and you're guaranteed to have a good spray paint job. And after about five minutes of dry time, we're going to hit our rotor with one final coat of high temperature paint. And we're going to go ahead and spray down the front and spray down the back. And we are officially done with this rotor. And these are all finished. So we're going to give it about an hour of dry time before we start handling it, just to make sure the paint is all the way dry. Now with our brand new brake rotors, the process is slightly different. We're going to be using 400 grit sandpaper in place of the wire brush. Now you can totally disregard all this masking tape. I just put it on here for aesthetic purposes to make it look pretty for the video. Now you really don't even need to paint this type of rotor. This is a stainless steel rotor with a zinc coating on it. Essentially what it does, it just makes it super resistant. This was actually sent out to me by Max Speeding Rods. You guys can definitely check them out. They make high quality performance parts for a very reasonable price. And if you use code word buddy, you can actually save 15% off your first order. I'll leave a link for their website in the description below so you guys can check them out. They have a really cool site with a lot of really cool performance parts for a reasonable price. Now we're going to start here by sanding the hat part of the rotor because that's the part we're painting. This is the hat right here. This is the part that pops out. We're just going to sand that with our 400 grit sandpaper just to get it a little roughed up so we have good adhesion with our paint. Now after we're done sanding, we're going to take our brake clean. We're going to spray it on a rag here and then we're just going to wipe off all the dust that we made from sanding. So it's going to be the same process of spraying this rotor as it was spraying the old rusted one. We're going to start with our primer and we're going to put a nice light coat. Now we're only painting the hat part of this. Now most rotors do come in a cast iron. So you do want to spray the entire one just like we sprayed the other one. You don't want to spray just the hat because it's going to rust all around where you sprayed. And at this point, it's going to be the exact same process as the other rotor we painted with two coats of primer and two coats of paint with about five to 10 minutes in between coats, about an hour of dry time before handling and a good 24 hours before actually reinstalling it into your vehicle. And if you found this painting video helpful, I'd really appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button. And I also have a couple videos up on the screen you can find on my channel, like how to paint your rims and your brake calibers to get the best looking, longest lasting finish. So definitely consider subscribing, check out the channel, and thanks for watching. You guys have a great rest of the day.